Hey guys, it's Tarko Cyclone FPV, and I got a call from a customer of mine, and it's just a really weird situation. But um, he had dropped off a um, a uh, quad here, the Darwin, the Darwin, I guess this Darwin quad or whatever this little itty bitty thing right here. And um, he had pulled the S bus pad off, ripped it off, I guess, during a soldering job or something. And he was, he was like, "Hey, look, what do I do? What can I do?" And anyways, long story short, I fixed the quad, but. I didn't make a video on it. And I just realized now when he wrote me, he's like, hey, I hadn't heard from you. I'm like, oh my God. You know what? I didn't even make the video and I should have because I think a lot of people could learn from this video. It's nothing, it's, it's. I, I hesitate now because every time I think something's cool, I don't want to like sit there and say it's the most amazing thing out there by any means, it's not. But it is definitely helpful, um, especially if you do happen to lose your S-Bus pad and you're using, let's say for example, a free sky receiver. So I'm gonna, take it apart real quickly. I'm gonna show you the table real quick and, uh, and then we're just gonna go through it again, okay? Because I think it is important. Um, <clears throat> so here goes. I'm just gonna desolder this real quickly, okay? Um, so let me just go do this real quick. I'm gonna desolder here and I'll desolder here and I will desolder. Again, I can't see, I gotta put my old man glasses on, I guess, hold on. I'll desolder here. Okay, so what I did is, and you know what, I'm going to, well, I'm not gonna redo the solder work that I did because um, I did it and it's working and there's no reason to sit there and take the risk of messing it up But I am going to show you on the um, Microscope what I've done and hopefully give you guys a little bit of uh, information that may help you down the road Okay, so anyways, let me explain to what happened. So um, With regard to this um, now, actually, I'll just show you on the microscope Hold on. So let me get this in focus here and then let me get this to where you can see it So let's go ahead and add the computer screen up here there it is, there it is, and boom. Okay, so now I'm gonna focus this real quick. So let me show you what was done. Oh my goodness, where is it? Okay, so here's, here's what you can see here is uh, on this flight controller, oh, I don't have a pointer, I guess, but I'll use, I'll use my tweezers. Okay, so here's the S-Bus pad that was torn off. Okay, here's your five volt and here's your ground. On this side, here's your RX and TX, okay? So the first thing that tells me is, um, sorry, my screen, I need my screen right here on. Just, I was check, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt this, but um, I was just checking to make sure my video is uploading. Okay, so uh, you can use the TX and the R. You can use the RX, for example, if you're using an uninverted signal, right? And this is the big thing about free skies. You know, it's an inverted S uh, S uh, S bus, right, uh, on the on the pad. And so what you need to do is you need to find the uninverted. And this has been something that um, I think Oscar Lang probably did the best job of discussing it years ago. Now. Uh, when I first started doing drones, I remember having to do this so many times, so it became second nature to me, and then it just hit me all of a sudden with his, uh, back when I was doing this, hey look, here's an XM, not even XM+, plus, an XM, right? And so as you can see on the XM, if you're using an XM or XM+, plus or whatever, so there's your standard S-Bus pad right here, right? Um, but if you flip this over, and if you look right here, this is your uninverted S-Bus right here, okay? And I know it looks like it's touching that second uh, pole, but it's not, it's directly in the middle. So what I did is I said, okay, well, cool. I'm just gonna go ahead and tap it to this uninverted S-Bus here, and then I'm gonna go ahead and solder it to the RX-1 here, and we should be back in business. So I'm gonna do that again very quickly. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let me twist this up. And you guys can watch me do that, like, I guess under the microscope. I should be able to reach this without any issues, but, um, I, I, sometimes the microscope can cause problems as far as access problems to getting to where I need to go. So let me put my, um, actually, let me just do this. I think I'll use the, I'll use the microscope as well as my reference. Uh, it's not as easy as you would think, but you know what? It is what it is. So let me, I said I would use the microscope, but I look straight down. I'll tell you what, I got these prescription glasses and they are beast mode. All right. So. The next thing is, now I will have to look because I want to make sure I'm on the right spot I am, okay. So the next thing is getting my five volt in, is that good? Yep. And then I'm gonna go ahead and get the ground in. Okay. I can't see, so did I even get that? No. Alright, I may have to use my goggles for this one. I cannot see um, I can't see there. I'll try it one more time. Let me see on the screen. Okay, I see it there. So, yeah, I'm just gonna get my goggles. Okay, see. Just bear with me a second, guys. There's not much light down here, and so the goggles have a light. 
it is. And then I should, oh yeah, this is like, I can see the future here. Okay, so let me go ahead and just get this wire, this is what, tinned? Sorry, I don't need to be throwing this all over the place. Get a little bit of solder here. I've got some always laying around. Let me just tin that ground up real quick. There it is. All right, and then, if I could just stop moving the darn thing. All right, I think that's gonna be good for now, right? So we've got our, okay, we've got everything. All right, so now what we're gonna do is, I did use, um, I'm going to now get out of this screen and open Betaflight, there we go. So let me put the microscope back, take these off. All right, I am using an XM, uh, X9 light, by the way. Okay, so I will give you a shot of the, um, I'll give you a shot like this here. So let's do a three screen, so one, two, three. There, now I know you're not gonna be able to read. For some reason the text doesn't come across well, but really there's nothing to read here. Um, what we're gonna do is we're just basically gonna plug this in. say that like that's easy but for some, there we go okay so we should automatically and we've got our light blinking here okay I'm just gonna leave this at an angle I'm not really I'm darn it sit there okay so you should be able to see you can see everything there let me go ahead and power on the radio real quick okay Welcome we should see the light turn green here in a Trouble second warning. okay lights Switch green warning. now we're gonna go to connect check this out boom so look at that okay so even though we've lost our S bus pad, and I know this isn't a big deal. I mean, I, I get it. I, I, you know, I'm so, um, I'm so like, oh, I don't know. It just seems like people are ready to pounce when you try to say something's pretty awesome. And they're like, oh my God, you think you discovered, invented the wheel. So, I mean, it's kind of got me to the point where I'm like, hey, I do think this is awesome, but you may not, but then keep that to yourself. I don't care. Um, so anyways, so what we've done is we've used the uninverted um, S bus, uh, 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 solder point uh, on the back end of the um, receiver and we're able to tap this in to um, the only thing here is obviously I use T-A-E-R so that's why this looks all whoppy job let me just go ahead and do this real quick and click save okay and now you can see we've got all the functions our switches are working I mean this is it's working it's perfect uh, if you wanted to test it even more now let me go what his modes are I don't know what his modes are um, auxiliary one which is this is arm so if I go to motors and I was to recalibrate the accelerometer here and I click this button right here, boom. Uh, oh, hold on a second now. Oh, oh, <laughs> God. Sometimes, you know, it's like, did you check the plug? Okay, so I did not. So <laughs> let's just do this so we can verify everything. Here we go. Yes. Now we're cooking with grease. And there we go, motors are spinning and everything's great, okay? So what we know is, <clears throat> by the end of it, what we know is, is that you know, you can always fall back to the old school method of doing things and, or the, you know, and, and things like this were published a long time ago. Um, and I remember it was one of the first videos I think I ever did when I started doing drones back in 2017 um, was something like that. I think it was 2017, something like that. And, um, but uh, it, it does save you. It does help you a lot. So anyways, that's it, guys. It's a quick video uh, just to show you that, you know, if you do rip off your S-Bus pad, um, there, uh, most of the FreeSky receivers there have an uninverted um, uh, additional option there. You may have to find it, but it's going to be there. Um, and I will give credit to the fact that I remember when I first started working on drones and I found this. I can't remember if it was Oscar Lang or Blue Falcon, actually. God, uh, rest, his, uh, uh, rest his soul. God bless his soul, I guess. Uh, that guy was amazing. Um, Blue Falcon was, was the reason I, um, I stayed in drones. Uh, that guy was, and I don't want to go off into this tangent, but I will tell you, if you have never looked at his videos, um, they are the best videos on the internet. I, hands down, he dominates. Um, he dominated the internet. And then I remember trying to reach out to him and ask him for some help, something, and I had heard he passed away in a motorcycle accident. And I was like, oh my God. And his videos are still uh, raking in like the biggest hits and views and stuff. So anyways, I can't remember if it was his video on this particular thing or if it was an Oscar Lang website, uh, webpage that I read, but it was very important. And it was, um, so anyways, either way, I have to give credit where it's due there and those two guys, uh, have obviously done a lot for the industry and um, anyways, okay so that's it uh, anyways uh, it is cold in here it is 61 degrees in my shop we have 
four AC units in here. Two of them are brand new, and they're here, and it's and but they're not plugged in. They the, the electrician hadn't come to wire them yet. And the two that I have can only keep the AC the heat because it's forty something degrees outside. So they can only keep my building to, uh, to sixty one. So look, check this out. I, I I know this is totally not. Um, <laughs> Well, look at this. So here's the building, right? Now it's it completely open, right? So we have the whole area back there to fly. I think Sam's in the CNC office back there. So you can see this silver thing. Let me see if I can point that. That's one of our AC units. And the other one is right here. You can't see the silver part, but it's right here, right? And if you could see, let me see if I can zoom in. Look, look, can you see that number? Right? It's 61 degrees in here. I'm so pissed right now. And you can see, look, look, you see that AC unit right there? That's one of the new ones, but it's not wired yet. And there's one behind me, and it's not wired yet. So I'm freezing my nuts off in here. Um, but uh, anyway, so that's it. Listen, I hope you guys have a great weekend. We got a lot of work to do. I'm getting ready to work on that tank 95. I'm going to get it sub 100 and uh, see if we have set, uh, see if we are maybe the lightest HD out there. Um, other than that, guys, God bless. Be safe. Most of all, go spend time with your family. You never know how much time you have left, so go make the most of it. I was able to see my kids at the gym today, and we had our first workout, and it was awesome. I'm so proud of them. Ashton and Landon, good job to you. And Jaden, I'll catch up with you soon, buddy. I love you very much. Guys, I'll talk to you later. Uh, have a great weekend. Peace.